This video is going to be a nice blend of like super entertaining but also historic because this is my first ever Transformers Rise of the Beast Studio Series figure celebrating the brand new movie coming out June 9th, 2023. And if you don't know, now you know. Let's go. Alfonso, this is Optimus Prime. Transform and roll out. What's up, Alfonso Nation? Alfonso Peterman has arrived in the building today. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome, one, welcome all, to another episode of my Teletran unboxing series. It is going down, ladies and gents, because today we have the Transformers Rise of the Beasts Studio Series Cheetor. This is not a drill. I never imagined I would have a Rise of the Beasts figure in February. <laughs> like, I can't even believe this thing was made available when it was. This was actually um, on Amazon. That's where I got this. So if you want to get this figure, it's in the description box below. I don't have any other sponsor for this video. This is just me getting the figure because I wanted it. And I'm starting the Rise of the Beasts collection. And yeah, I got it on Amazon. So <laughs> while he's in stock, you might want to click that link below. That link below is an affiliate link, the one for Amazon. So, you know, if you click it and you buy from that link, even if you don't buy this figure, if you buy anything on Amazon after clicking that link, you're supporting this channel financially because I am an Amazon affiliate. So anyways, ladies and gents, oh my God, Cheetor. This dude was, bruh. I remember that first reaction. I jumped, like I physically left the ground when Chior showed up on screen. And I'm not even like huge on like the Beast Wars like cartoon, but what I love so much about the film is that it takes the original cartoon, the source material, but it revamps it for this live action presence. You got all the nice detailings and that live action integration similar to what happened in the Bumblebee film with the G1 characters in that, in that movie. That's why I'm starting to dig the beast designs for all of the brand new characters we're getting in Rise of the Beasts. And this is Cheetor. We all lost it collectively lost it when he showed up on screen can't wait for more of him and we even got a little taste of him in the final battle in that shot so freaking cool well ladies and gentlemen the official studio series transformers rise of the beasts cheetor has arrived uh you got the transformers logo same thing he is studio series 98 and he is cheetor with the maximal logo nicely down there and then you got a beautiful render of Cheetor in his beast mode and then 98 on the side you have him uh, in his beast mode there and then you have uh, him in his robot mode there looking fantastic and that's the Autobot logo they're just never gonna change this I don't know why you guys are like mad about it this is never gonna stop <laughs> and then on the back obviously like every other studio series figure here he is in his robot and alt mode and his bio says Cheetor and the Maximals team up with the Autobots to protect the trans warp key. Mostly, almost all of the Studio Series boxes are gonna mention something with the trans warp key. So that's probably gonna be the next All Spark item that they fight over. Like in the first film, it was the All Spark. Second film, Majors of Leadership. Well, this is gonna be the trans warp key. So I'm excited to see more of this trans warp key and what significance it holds and what it looks like. But yeah, this is actually going to be one of the center points of the plot in the movie, which is exciting. And last but not least, at the top, here you have the uh, Transformers iconic Rise of the Beasts logo. I'm about to open a Rise of the Beasts figure. Bro, what is happening? One thing I like about this is that I, I got this legitimately through Amazon. This was actually an official, like, store release. So it's not like I got this from any type of uh, backhand connections. I got this legitimately, which is one thing that I'm really proud of. So... Oh, this is cool. I don't think, I don't know if other Studio Series figures have this, but on the lid of the box at the top, it has the More Than Meets the Eye Transformers logo. That's kind of cool. I kind of like that. I'm kind of digging that. All right, here we go. Here we go. My first Rise of the Beasts unboxing. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, let's go. I don't know about you guys. I'm sorry, but I like this. People are like, oh, he's not painted. He doesn't have the blue. He does not the, the classic. Man, this is live action, baby. It's, it's going to be a little different. It's okay. This is what he looks like uh, out of the packaging slightly. All right, dude. Cheetor. This is 
Studio Series Rise of the Beasts Cheetor. And man, oh my goodness, I, I'm feeling this. I'm really feeling this. I love his scale too. Very nice. My overall first impressions is that he's very, very solid. He's got nice joints on him and he's got a good scale to him. A nice overall finish. I do like the silver uh, integrations of the like paint in his chest. That is super awesome. Nice shoulder pads with the silver detailings. Nice head sculpt. Dude, that head sculpt is really good. Nice. And it's got the green eyes for the head. Very nice green eyes. You know, the uh, overall like paint finish is this kind of like, not really beige, but like a really dark tan. And kind of a beige, kind of like a really, really strongly faded orange. He's got all of those like cheetah spots uh, painted in there. Looks good. Looks really good. This is the back of him. Uh, he's got the tail kind of folded up. If you want to, you can do this. <laughs> But obviously, you know, in robot mode, he would have his tail folded up. Let's take a look at his background because he comes with a background. That's what I love about Studio Series. Oh, it's the little like uh, jungle. It's like the little jungle spot where it looks like where Prime and Primal met uh, in the trailer. You got to see, you get to see the jungle. That's a beautiful little scenery. You got the waterfall. You got the, you know, the light, the ray of sunshine coming through the trees. Beautiful background and what I love about that background is that you know when you have the other beast characters That's a more generic background so you can put all of the beasts pretty much in front of that um, So it would work out. I never liked this And I'm, I'm never gonna like this. There's nothing you can tell me. I don't care. This is just not okay This is just chaos chaos incarnate Okay, thanks Hasbro. You made me a mess. Fantastic. And this is his spear weapon. This is the first half of the spear weapon. Looks good. It has the same consistent paint like on the body design and that nice metallic uh, on the spear blade itself. Very cool. The other half is like this. Looks like it's a little bit different, but it's got nice uh, molding going up into the spear. It got three tiers. And then over here you have two tiers. Of detailing and you can see they are not the same they are not symmetrical which I like ideally you would just connect both of them together you know just like that and then you will have the massive spear and that looks pretty nice so you can actually have him dual wield or you can have him wield the entire spear similar to the studio series that's in a prime you can have him dual wielding those blades and you can also have him holding it regularly like as one giant unit so that's a cool option i like that they gave cheetor that because this is his only accessory and this is what he looks like with the blades together and that really does look awesome he it just completes him it truly just gives him that tactical uh beastly robotic advantage and then you can combine it i'm gonna combine it whoa let's go i love him with that giant spear ready to slice and dice. This is uh, this is awesome. This is really freaking cool. So it's robot mode. I gotta say, is great. I love the finish. You know, for a mainline figure for this price point, Rise of the Beast Cheetor is awesome. All right, removing the accessories. Let's get into some articulation, folks. All right, let's let's do it. So his shoulder pad actually comes up like this, allowing for his arm to come all the way out. It actually can come all the way up. Comes down, rotates around. Full rotation on the uh, shoulder, you've got elbow bend, it comes down, and then you have a wrist rotation, and then the little brass, <laughs> I'm gonna say brass knuckles, <laughs> it's actually a claw uh, that you can move around. But yeah, pretty nice, you got rotation on the shoulder as well. I'm gonna remove, I'm, I'm gonna kind of pick up his butt flap like this, and then his legs come out, his legs come down, legs come up like this, legs come back. You can't move the legs back, you just have to move this butt flap up. When the legs come up like this, there is a knee bend, right? Knee bend. There's a rotation on the on the leg here. There is a toe pivot, which is cool to see on a mainline figure. There's a toe. And then there's some ankle tiltage, like complete ankle tiltage side to side. With this butt flap up, he can rotate all the way around on the waist. And there's no crunch back and forth, but don't really need it and then the head can look up this high 
Okay, it can look down. Oh, don't want to disconnect them. <laughs> okay, up this high, down this low, and it can rotate all around like so. Very nice articulation on Cheetor. <laughs> I mean, you know, for Beast characters, they are very hands-on, you know, very melee, so you need some good posability. And I, I'm pleased to report that this guy has some great posability. I love his overall look, love his overall design, and I love his scale, love his articulation. The dude is just awesome. I, he's awesome. I can't wait to get more of these. <laughs> and now for some scale comparisons to show you what he looks like among some other figures. Obviously, I don't have any Studio Series figures for Rise of the Beasts aside from him yet, but I have some other figures that you can like, get an idea of his scale. Here he is with the Transformers Core Class of Megatron. This is like the War for Cybertron Kingdom, I think, or one of those. It's a Core Class of Megatron. Next up, here he is with the Studio Series Bumblebee Movie Wheeljack. You know, the Will Jack we probably should have had in the Rise of the Beast film, but I'm not going to go there. Uh, looks pretty cool. That's him with a deluxe scale figure. And uh, probably going to be how he looks with the Bumblebee for Rise of the Beasts, given that B is also a deluxe and going to be around that size. So that gives you an idea. Next up, here he is with the Transformers Studio Series 38, the veteran, the legend, especially the legend of the Alfonso Nation toy hunting series, my god. But uh, yeah, there he is, and that's gonna also kind of be how he will look with the Rise of the Beasts Studio Series Optimus Prime. Because he's likely going to be a Voyager, just kind of basically re like modified for, you know, Rise of the Beasts with the bumpers and all of that, with the silver, and probably some modifications to his chest and... You know, probably like an arm blaster instead of an eye arm blaster. But here he is with Prime, and I'm so excited. I can't wait to get more of these guys, especially Primal. I can't wait to see what Primal even looks like. Oh man, so much, so much to come. But you know what? Let them come. <laughs> Next up, uh, here he is with MPM Barricade. What I'm doing is I'm just basically going up a scale, just to kind of show you what he looks like with larger figures as we continue forward. So there he is with Barricade. I don't ever plan on posing these guys together. They don't even make sense together, but there you go. Just to give you an idea. And finally, last but not least, here he is with the uh, 3A scaled Bumblebee movie, Bumblebee. This is the 5U model, but same thing, same scale as the deluxe scale 3A Bumblebee. Not going to display them together, but just to show you what he looks like relative to other figures that might be in your collection. And this is something I don't normally do for my unboxing videos, but I'm going to do it for this one. I just have to see it, because this is like super cool, I love this design. I actually, yes, I transformed it into cheetah mode, and boy, I adore this, <laughs> I love that. He has nice spots on his back, and even, you know, the spots on uh, his belly, which would normally be the chest for the, uh, the, uh, the robot mode, and you do have the Maximo logo there. I love the spots on the head, that head sculpt is incredible. That head sculpt is sick. I love that. He's got the green eyes. You like, you have the mouth and the head actually does have articulation. You know, you can rotate the head all the way around. You've got the jaw, the mouth opens up nicely. Looks good, man. Looks good. Obviously his legs articulate. He's got the uh, one, two, three points of articulation on the legs. And I love that a lot of the live action details that you saw in the robot mode still translates well in the cheetah mode. And you do have some weapon storage if you want to. You can, there's two tabs on his back. You can peg in his two uh, blades into the back. I'll just do it for the sake of demonstration. I will never actually display him like this. Well, I mean, you can, it's not too bad actually. This is actually my first ever cheetor figure that I've ever touched. Like that I've ever actually owned. <laughs> so this is just like all completely new to me. There's probably other people who have had the cartoon design Cheetor, so they have an idea of what it's like to have a Cheetor. I don't, this is my first experience and I gotta say, I'm really digging them. Definitely excited for more Transformers Rise of the Beast Studio Series figures. It has begun. The collection has begun. The hype train has left the station a long time ago, since December. I'm, I'm, I'm really loving this moment where we have a movie, we've gotten figures, brand new characters, all this great stuff just pouring through the marketing, the trailers, the Super Bowl. Like, every, it just, I'm just so happy right now. <laughs> the only thing that I would say that I would probably want to have improved on the figure is the overall finish. I would have preferred maybe uh, like a different colored orange, like maybe like a stronger 
are darker orange, not the kind of faded. Um, but apart from that, I'm digging him. He's awesome. That's all for today, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like on it. Comment below what your thoughts are. I have the link of this in the description box below if it's still going to be in stock once I post this. I don't know what's going to happen. So, But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And yeah, subscribe if you're new. There's more figures. There's going to be toy hunts and unboxings and all kinds of great stuff happening this year. So make sure you stay in the loop. Follow me on all of my socials, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok. Once I reach uh, 2,000 followers on Twitter, I'm likely to do a uh, giveaway of the Legacy Evolution Tarn. I don't have one for myself, but I will be buying two, one for giveaway, one for myself, ideally, if we reach that uh, goal. And make sure you hit the notification bell on my channel so that you don't miss an upload. Anyway, that's all for today. Thanks for watching. And if you don't know, now you know. I'll see y'all later. Peace.